I'm Dr. Andrew Burchuk, and I'm the director of the Division of Gynecologic Oncology at Duke University Medical Center. Our division treats women with ovarian, uterine, and cervical cancers. Um, in the past year, uh, Duke's also developed a cancer institute, and I'm the director of the gynecologic uh, cancer research program in the Duke Cancer Institute. I've been here at Duke for 24 years, and I'm involved in taking care of patients in the clinic and the operating room and also spend quite a bit of my time doing translational research. As I'm sure you know, there's been a tremendous amount of progress in the last few decades in understanding the biology of cancer, and our group is trying to translate this type of new knowledge into insights regarding the etiology of ovarian cancer and the molecular causes of ovarian cancer, as well as the epidemiological risk factors that contribute to the development of ovarian cancer. We believe that an understanding of the causes of ovarian cancer and other gynecologic cancers is really the key to developing better strategies for treatment, for early detection, and for prevention of these cancers. My main research interest focuses in the area of ovarian cancer. One large study that we have at Duke uh, that I've done in collaboration with Joellen Schildkraut, an epidemiologist at Duke, is the North Carolina Ovarian Cancer Study. This study has been ongoing for over a decade in 44 counties in eastern and central North Carolina, and in addition to interviewing women in their homes about all their risk factors, we obtain uh, tumor tissue as well as blood samples and again investigate uh, the causes of ovarian cancer from both the epidemiologic and molecular uh, perspectives. And so over 1,200 patients and 1,200 controls have been accrued to this study, and um, more recently we've actually formed with groups doing similar studies around the world, an international group called the Ovarian Cancer Association Consortium, which meets twice a year. And the main focus there has been on identifying genetic variants that affect risk for ovarian cancer. So BRCA1 and 2 are two genes that predispose very powerfully to ovarian cancer. And women who carry mutations in these genes often have a lot of breast and ovarian cancer in the family. We can now do testing for these genes, and um, women who have BRCA1 or 2 mutations can undergo prophylactic surgery to remove the ovaries and fallopian tubes when they're done with their family, and therefore we can prevent cancer in most of those women. But we believe that there are other genetic factors that also predispose to ovarian cancer as well, these so-called genetic variants or SNPs. And so our international consortium now includes over 43 studies with over um, 30,000 subjects, and again, hopefully this will provide the power to start to identify some of these other genetic risk factors. But again, I think we're in an exciting era of research and discovery in the biology of cancer, and our goal in the Division of Gynecologic Oncology and the Duke Cancer Institute is to translate that knowledge into better ways to reduce deaths from gynecologic cancers.